Is banking in the Cayman Islands safe? I'm Nomad Capitalist founder Andrew Henderson, and today I want to talk about the idea that banking in the Caribbean, or banking anywhere offshore really, is something that's unsafe or something that's shady to do. We hear in the news, we hear in uh, TV, in the movies, all those criminals moving their money down to the Caribbean money holes. And if you just believed that, you would think that it was something that was illegal and probably just a bad idea for your money. Well, the reality is something that's far, far different. When I look at banking offshore, I look at two main criteria. What's the quality of the jurisdiction and what's the quality of the bank? There are plenty of jurisdictions that are just average jurisdictions but have good banks. In fact, one of the safest banks in the world that I recommend to a lot of folks is actually in Lebanon, which is a place you wouldn't really think would have fantastic banks. On the other hand, there are countries, even in Europe, even the United States, where there are some really low quality banks and banks that have gone out of business. If you live in the United States, you have seen hundreds of banks fail in the last few years. Places like the Cayman Islands, that just doesn't happen that much. And so when you go offshore, you have to understand where you're banking, where is your money going. Look at the financials of the bank that you're going to. Check it out, examine the quality. The reality is the Cayman Islands has some phenomenal banks. Lots of other Caribbean countries have good banks. It's an issue of the quality of the government running it and the quality of the bank itself. Now, if you want to find out more about how to get started offshore banking the right way, I created a free mini introductory guide you can download just by clicking this button right here. Get your hands on our offshore banking guide and learn how you can get started with some of the best tips and tricks in the book. From Noam Capitalist, I'm Andrew Henderson.